welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. Hope you're all super well. Uh, Friday, 13th of August. Um, and today I thought I'd do like a sequel uh, to my previous episode on 2019 Flair Marvel Cards. Um, and today we're going to have a look at 1994 Flair Marvel Cards. So Flair's first set of Marvel Cards, inaugural edition, annual, whatever you want to call it. Um, but <clears throat> this channel is all about exploring whether these cards are worth investing in. Uh, it's all about looking at checklists, population reports, and giving you information you may not know, and hopefully giving you some value of some sort, uh, unless you want to listen to a bloke rambling on from the UK. This is for you as well, so um, let's get into it. So, as always, I'm going to look at what's been selling, um, PSA population report of this set, my general thoughts on whether it is actually worth looking into in terms of investment or even collecting, uh, you know, it's all subjective. Uh, as always, please do your own research, all that good stuff, um, because that's very important. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all my personal opinion, entertainment purposes. Um, so let's go over to the checklist. It's a very, very simple set, which is nothing like uh, my episode yesterday on the 2019 flair, which is just a lot of meat. So this is quite simple. Um, and uh, there's a few notes here. No card is visible on cards 135 to 149. Two cards of number eight were printed, but no number six. I did not know that. So that's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> um, so in a box, uh, you get 24 packs of 10 cards. It feels like these days that you don't get much in boxes. <laughs> so I think that's pretty good to start with. Um, common sets, approximately 1.52 per box. If collation were perfect, fine. So these are all, um, what I would say, these cards are, I would say, of a premium quality. They're slightly better card stock uh, in terms of quality. I mean, I've got a few, <clears throat> and I think they look, quite premium compared to other other cards in the 90s in my opinion um but definitely better card stock no doubt about it so big old base set and it runs to you can see here 150 uh, i i like all of the artwork for all of this um but some of my favorite ones and again i'm a big x-man x-men fan so maybe this is a bit uh you know this is my personal opinion but these X, uh, X-Men, Blue, Gold, Force, x Act, I think they look sick. Uh, really, really, really cool. <clears throat> so 150 cards in the base set. You can see here the title uh, on the back, which, again, I'm always a fan of. You're not just looking at the front, you're looking at the back as well. Some people forget that. And, um, yeah, just one thing to bear in mind when you're looking at potentially investing or even collecting, you know, for PC. But, um, so... This is a very short video, to be fair, because the the chase cards are one in every two packs. So these cards are fairly easy to find. Uh, so the Power Blasts are the chase cards. But as always, I will talk about grading because there are, you know, let's think about the Marvel world right now is crazy. It's heating up in my eyes for sure. And there's 18 Plower Blast cards. And I'll show you also some sales in a minute. <clears throat> uh, an interesting one. And again, if you haven't seen my Instagram, please do hop along. Um, it's gingerman underscore cards. Uh, I just did a post. I've got the um, 95 Flare print card from Spider-Man. And I think it is sick. Oversized uh, and they're a case bonus. So they're flare print cards. You can see the sizes there, six by ten inch, something like that. Blank back. Uh, promo cards, <clears throat> lost in promo cards in this set. I've only seen a few around and about. Uh, you got double sided four up panels. Again, I don't know much about these, and for me, it doesn't interest me too much. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, nine up panels as well, and you've also got flare prints, Deadpool. Amiga Red versus Wolverine. So these are really cool. Uh, 
this one, blank back Baltimore diamond con. Stuff like that, you ain't finding. You're like, you ain't finding. Um, and if you do, snap it, snap it up. Like, you've got their Heroes World Con, like stuff that was handed out at the uh, Comic Cons. I, I don't get a chance to actually go to any Comic Cons because I'm in the UK, but really, really important. Same as some promo cards out there at the moment. Um, wicked. So that's the set. Very simple, very quick. Um, let me just show you. Actually, I'll just discuss box prices. So um, you can buy currently, and this is literally today. You can buy a box, and they're they're floating around the three hundred fifty dollar marks. Um, my personal opinion: if you have sealed of this set, I wouldn't be selling it right now. I wouldn't be holding it. Um, many reasons, but. We're still early in Marvel. Uh, sealed is hard to come by. I don't know the print run of these boxes, but I don't think there's much out there. And I say much, yeah, that's within reason, obviously. Um, you can get sealed packs uh, for $15. You can see they're really nice packs, actually. They just look cool. Um, yeah, these are look cool. $400 for that one, so... Yeah, 350 to 400. Uh, and that's the sealed box prices, which I think is fair. But yeah, again, I wouldn't be selling any personally. Um, first flare edition cards, I think. Some of the artwork is insane. This is something a little bit different to, you know, um, the other brands of card makers. <laughs> Christ, I've even forgotten what they're called, which is very. Very embarrassing. Um, yeah, a few up Fleer. All sorts of stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so let's have a look at what has been selling. So I've typed in Marvel 1994 Flair. So again, I'm going to go through a couple that I think are of note. But this will give you the general feeling to where the prices are at. They are not high prices, guys. Like PSA 9s are selling 30 to $50, PSA 9s. So you can see here, this is a Cosmic Spider-Man. This is part of the base set, so this isn't Power Blast or anything like that. But $36 for a PSA 9. Uh, Jean Grey, 17 42 for Wolverine. So big character. We will normally see Spider-Man, Wolverine, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, all that. The big Avengers, I, you know, apart from Wolverine, obviously, but the big characters, um normally going for more than this in most other card sets but yeah this is the price this is sold on probestein as well and if you don't know probestein very big auction or big ebay seller so a lot of collectors send uh, or flippers where whoever it may be send their stuff to probestein they'll sell it for them uh, and there's a far lot far more attention and eyeballs and normally higher prices but in this instance these are all relative so first power blast is a invisible one psa 9 and that's off 52 dollars <laughs> yeah nothing special um i will just mention again buybacks because I, i'll speed let's talk about that at the end because it's not gonna make sense this is a wicked looking card and this is definitely going in my thumbnail for my youtube video uh <laughs> So it's a Spider-Man 2099 PSA 9, uh, and that's off $32, but the artwork's sick. Let's just show you to really appreciate it. <clears throat> I think that's cool. Uh, again, <laughs> my personal opinion. I like the gold, the flair. I mean, the amount of people I've heard talk about nostalgia and oh I had these as a kid again I didn't have that I'm in the UK but I hear a lot of stories like that um, so brilliant 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 um, so this is actually the flare print that I've got uh, Spider-Man whoa why, did I miss 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 no I didn't it's in the 95 set um, 
so plenty more PSA 9 selling for 22, 46 there for Carnage, Ghost Rider 42, and that's a Power Blast. So PSA 9 Power Blast. Um, and I'll explain the population report in a second. Vengeance, PSA 10, not a Power Blast base card, $57. Um, lots of cards, Apocalypse Now, $94 for PSA 10. So interesting. Uh, Fat Venom, which I've heard a lot talk about recently SGC 10 which is a hell of a grade $75 again I would say that's a good buy personally um, and uh, when you see the PSA population you'll probably understand PSA 10 $114 for the Fat Venom again really cool card actually I quite like the look of it a Venom PSA 9 again another cool Venom card $57 for that <coughs> um Cable Power Blast, 125. This is 27th of July, so a couple of weeks ago now. Spider Man Power Blast, PSA 9, 52. Uh, Silver Surfer, another big character. Power Blast, 29. Power Blast, Iron Man, 46. So you can see the rough prices. It's not, you know, any, you know, it's not any great <laughs> deal in terms of uh, cards, and especially not compared to some of the other sets I've been looking at. Uh, please do check out the rest of my videos if you haven't already um, and do subscribe um, Flare the Wedding PSA 10 $113 so yeah there's nothing else of note that I can point out $200 for Doctor Doom PSA Power Blast and again these were when 13th of July, so they've actually come down a bit already, which I'm not too surprised about. But let's have a look at pop reports. So I'm showing you the 94 Marvel Flare Power Blast cards. So it's currently 203 cards graded, one auto. Again, that is nothing, nothing in terms of population report. And this just PSA. I haven't looked at BGS. Don't think I could find any, but interesting so the first thing to note and i've not opened a box myself so i can't comment on whether you're going to get bricking or any issues like that but a, 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 a tell and from what i see in po population reports the tens 57 the nines 108 this tells me it's fairly tough to grade and it's just quite surprising considering the quality of the cards, etc. But they're old cards. Um, I'd imagine surface marks, corners, you know, all, all that normal stuff. But this is always a tell. Uh, so eights and nines, big chunk, and then some tens as well. So some of them haven't even got um, a 10 yet. So Thor doesn't even have a 10. Neither does Spider Man. So that Spider Man Power Blast comes in. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go back and I'll just show you the. This is so odd. Like they have, and let me just ensure I'm not being an idiot. You got 94 Marvel Universe Flare Power Blast. You got 94 Flare Marvel Annual Marvel Annual. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, you've got Flare, Marvel Annual, Marvel Annual, Power Blast, which again I'll show you 22 cards, so you can add that to the other ones because they're all the same cards as out of 18, as you can see. So they've called it Marvel Annual Power Blast. I'm assuming, the, I don't know, I don't know how that works. Is, is the person requested they want that on the label? I really don't know. Let me know below if you know. Um, and then you've got the standard which again, you can see the pop is considerably more. These are for the base set cards. Uh, and then the tens is actually outweighing the nines. So very interesting, 558 tens, 408 nines, and 98 eights. So really, really cool. Uh, very low population considering, but you can see the value isn't there as such. Um, and let's have a look on eBay. 
So I've typed in Flare Power Blast PSA 10. And I think... I think some of these cards are still, and some of them are very overpriced. Like this, for example, Doctor Doom PSA 10, PSA 1, uh, PSA Pop of 1 of 4. Okay, but it's not $550. Um, this Gambit card is insane. Insane. Um, what have these people done? Oh, why is it black? Oh, okay, they've put it in the black. Um, I don't get it right. I don't get this. This is another TARD, in my opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Why well, put... And I understand it looks okay, but if you want a black, and it's just a cover, I know. Maybe this is just a bit, me being a bit pedantic, but you've got a black cover on there. It ruins it. It ruins the look of it. If you want a little black cover, get an SGC slab. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's just me. But let's have a look. Further down. Um, I saw there was one. Yeah, nice. 13 watches. And again, there's always a tell when you get the. Uh, when you get the watches. This. Hang on. Marvel Universe, not Flair. Don't get confused. It's very easy to get confused. Believe me. By the way, I'm going to do a separate video on these, but so sweet. Um, so, Flair, Flair, Flair. You can see what they're going for and what they're listed. But ugh, my personal opinion... I would personally not look into investing in anything that isn't a power blast and that isn't a PSA 10. So I would look at PSA 10s only and I would look at power blasts only. Again, my personal opinion, um, they look cool, but the next aspect is buybacks because... And again, I have to thank Sketchcard Hive like many, many, many months ago. He kind of showed me the way. Um, but if you've got a buyback of, you know, one of these cards, a buyback card is numbered, serial numbered, and these are serial numbered out of 20. And I think for context, I need to show you again. So 2019 set again, they did buybacks. And you can see this Spider-Man card, 204. But they're serial numbered out of 20. You can see that. And it's exactly the same card. But it's numbered. Like, which card are you wanting to have? I know which one I would have. Um... <laughs> Especially if you're looking for an investment, the numbered is the way to go. Like, um, in terms of scarcity of these cards, you can see pack ratios and things like that. There isn't a thing as such. Um, so, yeah, buybacks are the way if you were looking at Flare for 94. But again, you have to buy the 2019 uh, boxes or packs or singles uh, to get them so that would be my opinion again this is always me just exploring different sets and learning like i didn't know the psa population for this today um but it's very very interesting so yeah i um really love this set but do i think it's worth investing in uh again psa 10 power blast yes but anything else i'm not so sure um, and if you're SG seeing it, I think it's cool. You could get a wicked, wicked set, especially like if you that's the thing I didn't actually mention. If you can get a power blast set, you know, a graded set of power blasts from this, 
you know, 94 flair. I think that's important. I think that's an important part of the 90s Marvel cards. So definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, personally, PSA, PSA all the way for that, but um, even BGS. But SGC, unless you're getting 10s, is a bit risky for me. Um, yeah, all my opinion. Please do let me know your comments down below. I'm going to do another sequel, and it's going to be 95 Flare because uh, they're really wicked cars as well. And um, I'm on a flare train at the moment. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy it, guys. And uh, please do let me know your thoughts. It means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. Don't forget to look at Marvel's Pack Fresh podcast. Um, we got another episode coming on Sunday, which is a juicy one. Um, and yeah, that's going to be a hell of an episode. So check that out when you can. Have a great weekend. I've got a wedding to go to tomorrow, so God knows uh, what's going to happen. <laughs> um, as the first one in a very, very long time. But I'm hitting that age where my mates are, uh, you know, I'm 28. My mates are, some of my mates are a little bit older, but they're hitting that 30s and there's been a lot of weddings happening. But enough of me. Have a great weekend.